Yo. Hey. 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 Ooh woo. Hey. You will, you will, you will, you will, you Yo, sup. Sweet cinnamon loaves. God damn. Ooh. Ooh. There are always nice people and white fans who watch them. I don't want to go to school today dad. What is up? I didn't want to go to work today either but these quads and t gonna pay for themselves. Making me want to put the second screen on and get flying. Oh Jesus Christ, hello, hi, 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 hi. good morning. I'm not even, or afternoon, I'm not even ready to fucking start stream yet. I, oh, son just figured out a way to make the laptop upstairs stop working, so now I gotta figure out how that happened. Oh God, good morning, how you good guys morning. doing? How you feeling? How's it been? Making me watch um, to put my third 52 inch screen on and start flying. Uh, uh, window key Morning, and you. asked to get You're that late on. 15 demerits heads. Uh, okay, all right, hang on. I just had to figure out the hotkey for it because I'm not spending the time right now. DJI goggles three uh, already up on Rotor Village. I'm sure it's weeks away, uh, but get in closer. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. Oh, that screen's fucked. Oh, there we go. That's a perfect one. Depressing. I'll be right back.
sweet that s how much we each get a check for right okay and we're back hi hello good morning Whew. Uh, apologies for the late start Hearing Matt's tech talk about the beefier signal, I'm tempted to get a pair, although it might only affect 04 air units oh, once they out. Okay, sorry, I just did a whole bunch of stairs. Back and forth, really quickly. I still got my damn shoes on. I can't hit any of my pedals on the floor. I'm ill prepared, I'm sorry. I'm working on it. I'm doing Howdy, my best. Howdy, partner. Itma! What's up, buddy? Oh, man. I was just staring at your face last night. Uh, editing. Doing a lot of it. The uh, editing from the trip is coming along nicely. Let's All... get a five-hour shot. You look wiped out. Oh, I have a monster upstairs. I meant to go grab that. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab that. Thank you for reminding me. I do look wiped out because I am. Deep breath, no rush. Oh, I'm not in any rush now. I'm just... Uh... I have like a retail retail mindset and i can't stop like slow down when things are amiss it was just real go, cool uh, meeting you i can't wait to see your edit I just go spastic you know lol i'm still wiped out from this past weekend yeah yeah tell me about it i'm still i mean because i came home and hit i'm much like you guys i'm sure i hit the Did ground you forget running to sleep for a few you know? days uh i came home from, we you, from that mate. weekend and immediately More started like do a rail at this point monster may not do it immediately started right back into to life there was no uh, gradual takeoff back to the skies. It was just boom, go hit the ground running. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little tired, but that's okay. Uh, sorry. We missed you last night. Speaking of being tired, uh, OG Bitches, was tired I enough had to go back to work Monday morning to, uh, just, um, go ahead and call it, uh, I call it a night. And not mindset stream. got it from the car business makes you feel like you should be doing something. Even when you don't have to, it's the worst. And it never goes away. It never goes Did away. Did you figure out the check engine light? The check engine light turned off in almost the exact same spot it turned on on our way to New York on the way home. So, no, I didn't. I, I was on my way home. I have an OBD2 reader here. I was going to check it out, check the code when I got home. I know it sucks. We were driving through Pennsylvania, and almost exactly where we stopped to get gas when the check engine light turned on, it turned off. I... I have no idea. I have no... It was on the entire time we were in New York. It turned on in Pennsylvania on the way there from Maryland. And then it was on every time I drove it in New York. Did you hit the same pothole? And then we went back home. Sounds like a barrow. And on the way home, it just... Must have got a smell of the cocaine on Biden Expressway. <laughs> Higher elevation uh, Loose gas cap was something somebody sensor. thought. My truck does not loose use gas a gas cap, though. We, we went New over York that NPA uh, the other have night. different fuel in the winter, I think. Um, that'd be, that's an interesting concept that somebody brought up the other night too, is that the fuel that I filled now up with in Pennsylvania. Now the inability to do things when feeling like that, geez, uh, yeah, up, I, don't know. R -R -R -R. I know the sure. feeling it don't stop even uh, if the body yeah, don't it was fun either way. Did I hit the same pothole on the way back? Extra no. corn in that New York <laughs> fuel. Um, chainsaw FBV in the house as well, I see. Uh, Mr. Rabble in the house. E Doc in the house. I've seen uh, I forgot all the of you guys very recently work on HD. in the editor. I've been putting things together. Chainsaw, I just finished your segment. I know what you have a segment in a video. You goddamn right you do. So does it, mom. So does Rabble. So does E Doc. So does a bunch of other people that I don't remember at the top of my head right now. But if I saw their names, I'd know it. It's corn. But uh, Chainsaw's bit I just finished. Um, you were one of the ones that made it into Elite, but you finished like near the end or the the high end of not the high end, sorry, the low end of Elite. So, so I'm yours, you're first in the storyboard there. But uh, It Mom is in there, Rabble is in there. Sweet. I'm insane, and I went through the stream and clipped out all of your qualifiers. I clipped out all the mains. I clipped out if the announcers mentioned your name. To have B-roll for my stupid video that I'm making. <laughs> uh, but either way, I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to come out really well. Um, what S up heads? How are you Chainsaw, doing? Just finished yours, my pepperoni pizza. Yours was so sad to watch because you did. You qualified ninth, which was insane because this is his first live event he's ever been to. 
mind you. He's been flying for four years, but first live event was this one, which is insane because he's going against absolute brawl, murderers brawl, there. Brawl, be roll, be roll, But he, he qualifies ninth for elite, which is wild, first off. That's where all the fast boys are. And then in his, in his mains race, he wow, has a small deep, crash that would be like, with it would be like nothing, right? All a normal little crash would be nothing. Much appreciated. But he crashed and got stuck in like the most unfortunate spot behind some chairs. And so I left that part in so that people know, like you didn't place 15th because you were slow. You were in second. You were in second. You were right behind wreck. I think it was wreck. And, uh, and he crashes HD and then gets stuck is expensive. In, in behind, or behind a chair and some other shit. And it was just like a pain in the ass for him to get out of it. Uh, and it would be a pain in the ass for anybody. It was a pain in the ass for a whoop to get out of it. And you just, yeah, it was such a sad way to, to lose it, though. I mean, it that's part of live racing, you know? It's all part of it. But, um, yeah, it happens. I left that in there so that people know that part of the story. I was editing last night, and I was like, it's fucked up to just put, like, this is Chainsaw. He... he placed 15th i was like well that's fucked up because he didn't place 15th because he was like slow by any means he was up there uh you were getting I ready feel to move your on pain, chainsaw i got a rule made after how i got out of a race lol edoc also had a rough time there i got a really good clip of me walking up to edoc in the pits going hey edoc what happened in that last race and you turn around and go beta fev's control or uh, quality control is very good uh with this very uh distraught look on your face it was very funny um, I'm going to try to include as much of that stuff as possible, though. There's a lot of beat. Do you guys want to see the intro? I'll show you the intro so far so you can get a feel of how the video is going to be. Um, you get to hear my, my little voiceover, too. I'm making, I'm taking this one very seriously. I had a terrible race as well, LOL. Because I filmed so much, it would be a disservice if I just didn't spend time making this video good. So... If I just like filmed all that shit and came home and just mashed it all together real quick, Intro, and just threw yeah. it, you know, out into the internet, I'd be, freaking lootly. I'd be upset with myself. So uh, I took my time on this one. It's gonna be uh, a long video, I think. I've already I've been editing for several days, but it took a day and a half to write the script and storyboard storyboard the whole thing out. Um. So yeah, I, I wrote voiceover lines for myself, kind of explaining our story, going there and everything, and then uh, I, I followed Don't different worry racers about through me their story. Got bright future. Uh, yeah, it was just awesome. It's not going to be it, a video. It's, gonna be, it's uh, going to be a movie. It's going to be an experience. Banana bread at work. It's hell yeah! Experience. There are smoke sessions in here, but I didn't. They're just B-roll. They're real quick because I don't want to rattle on anybody. Script? You know, I don't know who's cool with them smoking on the internet and who's not. I know a lot of us are, are uh, professionals in our in our day jobs, so. The B roll is kind of snappy with the smoking. It's hard to so tell what, what's happening. So excited to watch it! Great potting as well. When will you be on Tow Rogaine? When will I be on Tow Rogaine? Oh, whenever he wants to have me on, buddy. I'll be over there in a heartbeat. We'll talk about uh, WWE wrestling and all the other stuff he does. What does he do? He bench pre presses with gorillas or some shit. Something like that. Um, thanks for not docs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That, yeah, basically, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Is I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to put anybody out there. He that said, "To ha 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 ha." Don't want to be, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, here, let's roll the intro for you real quick. Um, I'm gonna turn Robot Lady down just so you can hear it with no interruptions. Uh, I'll put my face off the screen just while the intro rolls. It may play a little shitty. This is just rendered through the editor, so I haven't actually like done a full render yet. So if it looks a little poopy. Um, the final version won't look nearly as bad. It'll look nice. Uh, give me two seconds. East of Syracuse, New York, is the small village of Fayetteville. With a population of just over 4,000, Fayetteville is a quiet place. Until the weekend of St. Paddy's Day 2024, when Tiny Woo pilots from all over the U.S. and Canada came together for an epic event a race to crown the 2024 Northeast Whoop Champion. What's up everybody, this is Zoltek from We Bleed FPV and you're here at the We Bleed Northeast Whoop Championship.
there you go. All right, that's all you get to see for right now. A lot of more work to do. That alone was only a minute 15, and uh, I've been editing for like a day and a half. But a lot of that was collecting clips. I had to watch through all the live streams again. I skimmed them. I didn't really watch clap, through them all. Clap, 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 um, clap, clap, clap. But just clap, so you get the bravo, idea, bravo. it's uh, it's got a bit of narrating. That's a really cool intro. Um, it's got my voiceover Blue because balls I, for a week now. I, I don't film myself in vlog stuff. I hate doing that, like turning the camera. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. I don't like turning the camera around and talking to it. Uh, I'd much rather be like in my home setting. Please you know? clap. Use a nice mic, talk, and, and get the audio right. So... Um, I can't yeah. wait to watch this. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys so, uh, enjoyed so roar, 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 roar. the little uh, the little teaser. A um, lot more to come. Edit, edit, edit. A whole Clapping lot more. my booty meat. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to spend a lot more time editing. I was half tempted to cancel stream this morning and just spend the morning editing because I, I I got up early, obviously, uh, <laughs> to start working on everything again. And um, I've just been clipping like crazy, man. I got a. Uh, uh, here, I'll give you a sneak peek. I didn't want to show this the other night on stream, but this since we're starting to reveal Loops things. Version of edging. Um, this is what is in the timeline so far. These are just the B-roll and everything. So I've only done three and a half minutes Got of the video. Got to go back to work. Um, Good day, And there's all. already this much. Uh, it, Mom, take it easy, brother. Thanks for stopping in, man. You picked a great time to stop in, I guess, to, to see that. Uh, but have a good day, man. Um, but anyways, yeah, we got a lot going on with this one. There's... Uh, a whole folder there's a ton of b-roll there is uh, a ton well not a ton of cinematic shots what's I guess. up y'all be there's dvr from My when i freestyled take forever uh at the event as well as when i freestyled afterwards with mo and skittles and then beforehand with uh fpv jake and mo um there's interviews with all the different pilots as well as say what s their... up to moose fpv it Moose was FPV, perfect what timing. Up? I was just Welcome. starting my lunch. Oh, yeah, that is perfect timing. Um, there's it, Mom, right there. There's uh, his interview. Everybody has an interview on the video side, and then we have the mic uh, audio version that goes with it, so all those are attached. Um, the Jesse sticker run is kind of half-edited already. You've seen that if you watch this channel. Got some music files downloaded. That's not a whole lot. I'm just getting started. Neon's folder is uh, fairly large. A bit of a story to tell there. OG's folder as well. Got a lot going on there. Uh, pictures from the event. Stream clips from the event. And this is for, look, these are everybody's qualifiers. That's AK, that's Chainsaws, E-Doc, Hooked, Hide, It Mom, um, Mo, and then a random sticker moment I got to grab. Look, this Hope one's... Hope you got a bunch of interview questions in with Pork Chop. Do you see how long that video is? That one recording is almost 20 minutes. So these are long as shit. Well, some of these aren't as long as others, I guess, because some people had a quick in and out. Some had a little more. So these are uh, these are something. That's, that's going to be a lot. Uh, voiceover has been filmed, two different angles. And then the mic, separate music or separate audio file. <clears throat> and then the script, which I won't open that now because that will give you a lot of spoilers. But uh, the script is four pages long. It's not all reading. Only some of it's reading. Like maybe a third of it is reading, like me voicing over stuff. Uh, and that all matches up with B-roll. It's not always just going to be me sitting talking to the camera because it's kind of boring. So, uh, yeah, you'll see a lot of B-roll. There's a ton I haven't used yet. There's uh, a bunch of racing footage I haven't used yet. There's a ton. There's a ton of shit. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of editing. But uh, I'm having a ton of fun doing it already. And so I don't think I'll slow down anytime soon with the editing. I feel like I'll probably get it done pretty quickly. Uh, the other good thing is I haven't watched a lot of this Rolling footage yet. 60 scripts. Like, I didn't get to see... The script um... is actually Head's manifesto when he goes all Columbine. <laughs> Did you get the B-roll of us kissing? Yes, that's in there. I'm just playing. Um, no, there is a lot of good B-roll, though, of, uh, of Yumo um, flying. Um, hanging out with a bunch of nerd stoners who like to go fast would be fun. Dude, it was a hell of a good time, man. It was crazy. Uh... Awesome time all around. Infinity it was like, shoots. Everybody there, you said it in your interview. You were like, the the vibe here is like crazy. Like everybody's like just so nice and everything. It really is. Like there's no pressure in the air. Like, well, I'm sure you guys probably feel the pressure of the competition, but you don't feel it from your competitors so much. You know what I mean? It's more like performance anxiety more than anything, it seemed like. Everybody's really friendly though, and people are like, Yeah, I want to see so and so win. It's like rooting for each other and shit. It was awesome. 
LMAO I was across the house knew it was either kiss or funeral lol. <laughs> uh, yes, infinity shoots, right? Yep. Okay, I need. I should go grab some caffeine. I'm launching Velocidrone. We're going to fly for a wee bit. Uh, I'm more than willing to talk about the uh, video more, though, if Damn anybody it, had any I'm questions. Damn it, I'm too predictable. Uh, feel free. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm just going to try to unwind my brain a little bit and fly some before I go right back into editing for the rest of the day. Uh, but, yeah, I'm down to just shoot shit. Chit chat. I'll have a, um, a lobby open, so feel free if you are free currently and you want to fly. Come on in. It's windy and rainy here today, boy, so I'm not going outside. Hey, Shildozer, what's the That's best drone destroying gun of 2024? The Shildozer. Oh, Killdozer, did you see um, Whistlin's newest video where he was talking more about the uh, the Killdozer build and then he just crushed a bunch of shit with it? It's kind of cool. See the absolute power of that beast? Hmm... What are we flying on? Let's fly at Wildwood, actually. Of course I saw it, LOL. Okay, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. It was a newer one, so sometimes they sneak by. Huh? Yeah. All right. Okay. Shit. Damn, bro. Uh, all right. I got a map open. Um, I'll throw it up here. Digital microscope is must. Super expat is freaking tiny. Even though I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to run and grab my drink real quick. Oh, somebody else is already in here flying? What the fuck? Who's it? Who is it? Silly Butter. There you go. I'll be right back. Watch Silly Butter. I Silly Butter is up early today. Anyone seen the serious butter? I wanted to open up the drink before I turn the mic back on because it's obnoxious when people open drinks into a microphone. It like triggers, nope, but I have seen triggers the something butter. in my brain that makes me want to. Yesterday have a, morning they installed solar panels kind, you know? on my house and now there is no sun shining for two days straight. Damn. <laughs> of course, dude. C H K K K T F S S S S H H H H H H H. Uh, silly butter. Thank you for uh, entertaining. Silly Butter's flying has gotten so oh, much better. Burn um, your electric that, that LOL. That looked pretty good right there. We were just watching. How long has he, has he been flying for a while? How many hours into the edit are you heads? Uh, how many Nailed hours into it? Like uh, probably, th well, th overall for the entire video, uh, three days. Editing, like actual editing, maybe six hours. Maybe. Um, but I had to do a lot of other stuff, like the voiceover recording, the script, to like figure out what I was going to say during the voiceover. Yeah, man, especially his racing, you can see week on week he is improving a lot. Uh, and then I had to I dig for clips and things I can't remember when Silly well. Butter started, but no, he is in it less than a year. Oh, Oof. that's a pretty good recovery there. Got really lucky. Huh. I always forget about all the little nooks and crannies that Boner put in this map. This map is so sick. Uh, I just started trying to watch uh, Flow State again because I've never finished watching it. Um, but I tried. It's uh, ah! it's I mean it's a hard watch for me. I don't know why. I think can't um, wait for the edit. You got some great shots. I think um, I don't know. I guess maybe because it's like older stuff now. It's like older to me to like see that stuff and see the the pilots talking about it. I guess I don't know. There's something about it. It'd be really cool for like new people into uh, FPV or people that never heard of it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, it's, I just I found it hard to, like, stay focused on watching it. I kept getting distracted. I also have, like, really bad concentration issues anyways. But, oh, there he is. Thank you, silly butter. Yeah. 
Whoa, shit. Forgot about all that, too. There's an uh, apocalypse version of this one that has a lot of uh, cool stuff on the inside that's all kind of different. Doesn't look like this. ISNT, there's still like four-year-old FAA shit in there. Yes. Yeah, there was um, something about, uh, you know, from the protests they went to in D.C. They're like, that was all in there. That was 2020. Work, edit, work, fly, work, sleep. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, that's some old stuff now. And I, I don't even think the the rule they proposed then was like, it was a different thing. It was what they were talking about. Heads, what do you use for voice over recording? I'm doing some recordings a, um, for T-Motor, but it's not sounding that great on my mobile. Needing a, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, cell phone plan type thing for each drone. I don't know if you guys remember that. I, I remember that briefly when I came into the hobby, but I feel Pretty like that hasn't sure been mentioned. Terrence Howard is in the dock too. He is, yeah. They let four-year-olds work for the FAA. But that Go hasn't been mentioned eight. in so long. Uh, I don't think that's actually like a thing. I don't even know if it was ever actually a thing or if it was just uh, speculation. But anyways, yeah, there's like a whole section where they're talking about that. It was cool to see Mako uh, Reactor in that. I didn't know she was in that. I knew about all the other pilots, like the the dudes that were in it, because I'd seen an 8, um, little bits and pieces and clips of it, you know, but from my electric company, I never realized some settlement uh, Mako with was a solar thing they had going on or something. Uh, somebody asked about the voiceover. I use this mic right here, which is a Sure. What is this called again? It's whatever the the SM7B. Uh, it's like the uh, the typical like radio mic. Um, I just use this through a Yamaha mixer in back into the PC, and I record I was through OBS. Whole podcast, LOL. Um, so it's not the best. I could definitely use more things to like filter out some of the uh, the the room noise, but since I do background music over my uh, voiceover and it's not like completely silent, it's um, it's not really that big a deal to clean up the audio. Saves me a heaps of time to not do that. So uh, I just drop a music track over it and put the music just slightly quieter you know than uh what i'm talking seems to balance out okay oh that was you apache Thanks, okay bro. yeah uh yeah it's um doing it on mobiles uh there are some phones that have decent mics on them i don't know which ones but i know that they exist uh but yeah you probably oops you probably also want to put yourself in a room that has very uh tight walls like not a big space the less space you're in, the better the sound will be. It won't pick up so much room noise or echo. Um, and then you also want to try to like, you know, if you have some blankets or something, you could put around you or around the walls around you just to kind of cancel out some of the room noise. It'll help make everything sound a little better. With audio, little tiny adjustments can really make a huge difference sometimes. Oh, Does anyone have a decent STL for a naked O3 TP3 canopy aside from the shit that S on Thingiverse? Uh, I do not. I'm trying to think of if I know anybody that even flies that kind of stuff that could get it for you. Did my, um, where the fuck are my sticks? Definitely thought I hit that when I came in, but I guess I didn't. I guess I hit M. Uh, in the chat instead. Whoops. Ask your mom that's what I do. That bitch knows where all the TPU's at. Dad ho. I'm talking about my mom, by the way. I don't know who you guys... I don't know whose mom you all were talking about just now, but... Not talking about your mom. Huh. I will go talk to her coffin cool. <laughs> Mike, have you seen Dax Neal 3D stuff for Naked 03? I think it's oh. free. Tee hee tee hee hee. At least we convinced Ash to remove the V hotkey to reset everything. I need TPU for my bunghole. Get her coffee. Finally finished my three high KV builds instead of rotating the same AIO VTX and cam between the three sets of Oops. motors LOL. Oh no. Oh, oh hey. yeah, bad for life. He has some good shit. I guess a normal ass Vista three TP3 build. Instead of rotating the same AIO VTX and cam between the three Glad sets of motors. Wipe your own oh, jeez. Okay, so now you got uh, you just have three builds as opposed to... That's funny. You're just swapping the motors out. 
Kiz, I fear for your bowel movements that require those vibration dampening properties. <laughs> oh man, Edoc just reminded me. So once I'm done doing all the editing for this video that you guys are gonna see first, which will be the, the full trip ed edit. After that, then I have two episodes of In The Loop that we filmed while we were there, both of which are over an hour long. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, another editing um, frenzy. You guys are gonna What's get some- What's the old Alice in Chains song, Dem Beans? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Damn Beans. Oh, are we at the bean level? I see 19. I think I'm okay for now. What s up, everyone? Um, cho cho who cho mama. But the uh, the episodes of In the Loop that you guys are going to get are going to be some special ones because it's the first time we've done live episodes like in person. But also, e I'm, it even requires I'm going to uh, every time take I the go time print a browner. to go through the interview and anything they bring up. If I can find things online to show you in the video that'll like explain the story better or whatever. It'll show you what they're talking about, the moment they're talking about. I'm gonna find those moments and try to attach them uh, into the video. Down in a canal. So it'll be an interesting episode of In The Loop because it'll have little cuts here and there of uh, things that they were talking about or yeah, referring man, to. Yeah, man, LOL took forever to get two more beta FPV M03 VTXS. I think it'll be good though. Uh, if it doesn't end up being a, a good flow to it, I'll, uh, I'll just delete the shit that I was adding in and just let the interview run. Uh, like any of the other ones that we did. It'll just be That's live. That's because I'm a right beaner. Huh? Um, Edoc, I think you may have asked earlier about pork chop. I did talk to him quite a bit. I don't remember exactly what we talked about. I feel like I we, can't we, find the M03S in stock. I feel like anywhere. I asked him the majority of the questions I asked everybody Twenty else. likes time to get um, spicy with the bean wheel. The one thing I didn't ask uh, or the one person I, I didn't guess ask. Only real Alice and all those same questions too that. was you. Got go uh, to I was work. Going... L8R, give her make out. Uh, okay. Killdozer FPV Later down in asked. a bowl, feeling so small. ID like to fly, I, uh... but my beans have been so denied. Ah oh, fuck. I didn't ask you. I don't know why. I asked you like a couple questions, but not not every other buddy, every other person. I asked the same questions to, and for some reason. I guess I caught you because you were on your way to go take a shower or some shit. Funeral, you nailed and it. And I saw you in the parking lot. And I was like, hey! And I just started talking to you. So maybe that's why I didn't ask because I was like, I was rushing. But um, yeah, I shouldn't have. Uh, all right, we got to pick a bean for t fucking 20 likes. So we got to sneak one in here. I'm not spinning the wheel. We don't have enough left for all that. Well, hello, my fellow FPV addicts. This is... Cappuccino or liver and onions? Alice in Chains famous EP jar of beans. Hell yeah, dude. This is a great one. This is perfect for breakfast. Uh, thanks, everybody. Oh, look, there's a little, look at the little speckles of perhaps onion in there. We'll see. Thank you, everybody, for the 20 likes today. Appreciate that. Thank you for breakfast. Down the hatch in 765432. Girl asks me to flick her bean instructions. Unclear bean idea. juice all what over the place. What are talking about? I gotta start with a liver and onion, bro. Oh, the smell of the onion like permeates to your nose before you even Ugh, liver. Before you even swallow the first little bit. What up, heads? Sorry, but no new oh, map. Yeah. Got some family shit. Cause you have to put a finger in her <laughs> kin to stop that. Morning in and in and wood. Liver and onions gross looks like it tastes rancid. It, it's the onion bit really that's gross for me. That sticks out the most to me. And it, like I said, it hits your nose before you even, like when you bite into it, it like it goes right to your, your, your smell first. Ugh. Liver King breakfast bean. It's all stuck in my teeth too. Oh man, I've been to the dentist two days in a row. That's another reason why I'm tired. Boner in the house. What up, brother? Boner salute. I went Wednesday, which was planned for a cleaning. Funeral grin, but that only has the same effect as clamping Ooh. your foreskin shut and taking a piss the minute the Ooh, pressure sorry. is off, it explodes. Oh God, that will clear your nose Can't out too. Can't stop a pressurized can those squirts bean juice everywhere. 
So anyways, I went to the dentist and I got just a routine cleaning thing. But then I went back yesterday and I got four, my four front teeth, all four of them had on the top, like right on the gum line. Sounds hot splush. Had like uh, stains and like that wouldn't go away from when I smoked cigarettes when I was like in my 20s. Um, and like just from coffee and you know everything else under the sun that we do to our teeth. In one hour, the live stream but it had of shit the that MGP just never go starts. Away. The gonna announce the winner of the global uh, qualifier. And then I finally... I'm in the stream, so maybe that means something. Oh, maybe. Uh, I wish you luck, brother. I hope you win. Um, but yeah, it was just uh, it was a long time Mike, coming. I sent Sit some random fuck. STL God I damn. found on computer in case Get any work. Boy. That onion bean would probably give me explosive Ooh. gas. The uh, the burps that follow that are disgusting too. Gross. I'm drinking a carbonated drink, so they're just working their way out. <sighs> Good luck, Boner. Uh, Boner, did you see I shouted you out on the uh, stream that I did? The one in New York? I shouted out your map Thanks, building Apache. abilities. As well as, uh, I said that every, uh, well, almost every Friday we would do a new map and for that S2 from I was, me. I was talking smile. you up. Cayenne. I was talking Good you luck, up. Good luck, Boner. Bigly. Give them stiff competition. Oh, I just shit. saw those bad four life. Thank you, dude. I, I didn't, I, I missed the first one. <laughs> okay, so I owe you two spins. You're, you're right. Uh, I'm sorry, Grok. That was, uh, that was my bad. I was hoping we could double up on Cayenne. That's really what I was looking forward to. Cayenne. That's kind of one I was hoping yes, for. Yes, major was... thanks for that. Bertha is spreading yeah. the boner love. That's what I do. I spread boners everywhere. Wait. No, that's right. Okay. Uh, also, uh, Grok back for uh, a member uh, another month. Thank you so much, brother. Welcome back to the 90% crew. Uh, 90s in the chat for our boy Grok. Here we go. Speaking of Grok Linux, thank you for your two five dollar super chats. We got some cayenne beans going down the hatch for you in seven six five four three two. All right, we're gonna try to fly through these. We gotta start making some progress on the day. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. You filthy beggars. <laughs> That's all you get. Perbs. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Anyone seen Bob Rougie's new frame? It is so Ooh. weird. LOL. Oh god, here come the hiccups. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Is that the one that's got like a fuck motors? Floating. All over, all over it. I breathed in some of my spit. It's so spicy. Oh, oh god. That'll wake you up. Shit. Why is this one always playing? When I'm struggling with a bean. That one's I wonder always how much damping grease you can fit in that bad boy. Oh. He designing frames Ooh. like it's 2,124. Oh, God. <sighs> Might as well puke at this point. Face orange biting nails. <sighs> no, no. Can't waste all that caffeine I've been drinking. <laughs> oh, God. Keep JK. We're good. We're good. Oh shit, yeah, that one too, but the one on FPV cycle that was just released, it's a new five inch frame, oh. I think. Oh god. Oh, he made a new five inch frame. That's cool. I have to check it out. Oh god, my chest. Oh, I missed my wall tap. This glide eight else. millimeters. Ah! What frame should I replace my Rover sixty-five millimeters with for durability and freestyle? 
They are breaking ground on a new office building out behind my work as we speak. Mr. Can't B, wait. It's I will always time, recommend um, an F65 if you want something a bit how robust. To trippy spin my 75 millimeters boner um, indoors. That's my personal favorite. It's met, honestly. But the new um, Mobula 6 frame is pretty nice, too. What Mobula 6 frame they don't exist. What frame should I use to replace my Acro B 65mm with for freestyle and durability? OG posting um, to his only fans again. Mr. B, I would suggest the new Mobula 6 frame, which is over at Tiny Whoop, I reckon. Let me double check that for you real quick. Pretty sure Tiny Whoop had them. Whether they still do is a mystery. Head switch chatbot are you using? Um, speech what chat. up my mofos I'm driving to Bozeman right now 3 hour drive I'll be here but this mofo has a bowl in one hand and a wheel in the other what 90 crew mofo what a bit of root uh, I know a girl that moved to Bozeman Smoking from here nil. she used to live uh, in milk. I see God I see God uh, Mobile 6. I just finished a twos wax nail baby tooth at 71 G should be here you fun go. Mr. B it's bad boy right here if you would like uh, a newer frame, this is new, this is light, it's available in the U.S., you can get it quick, it's five bucks, uh, there you have it. If you were looking for something else um, that's a little more unique, um, does he actually have the frames a lot. in the stock? Uh, that's cool. Uh, here you go. You're, this is the other one I was talking about, the fractal. Oh, he doesn't have the regular. Well, if you have a frame now that is broken, you can use the ducts off of it. You can harvest the ducts and make this frame here. Um, this is one of my favorites. What you do with these Ross is man, uh, man. you snip the ducts off of an existing frame. So it's best if you have like a broken one that has like maybe one of the um, one of these little tabs broke off right here Second on the flight harvest. controller. You uh, you cut the ducts off and then you put the duct on here and then the motor on top of the duct. And then a screw, these little uh, longer motor screws through the bottom, up through the duct, into the bottom of the motor. This is what holds your camera here, this little eye drop piece. This holds your battery in the back. This holds your battery in the front. It's very lightweight as far as like things to put on it. There's no canopy. It puts the camera down between your ducts. No good picture of it over here. Uh, let's just go to Fractal site real fast and I'll show you. But these are available in the U.S. I think Weebleed FPV has them as well. That's what it looks like fully built out. There you go. Cool looking uh, whoop frame. It's one that I've always used uh, for... Well, I didn't use. I don't use the 65. I use the 75 version. But they actually have uh, my version right here. The Robot Lady Edition. Or the Infinity Loops uh, Signature Frame Kit right there. Thanks, I'll heck it out. Um, yeah, check it out. Both will work just fine. It's up to you, kind of uh, personal preference, whichever you'd prefer. One's a little more expensive than the other. Um, the uh, Mobula 6 is only five bucks, uh, so it's all plastic. The uh, Fractal 65 is like 20 bucks to 25 bucks. That's carbon, uh, a lot less likely to break. And if you break it, he's very good about warranting them. So keep that in mind as well. The other frame will not be warrantied. If you break the plastic one, you broke it. That's <laughs> get some glue, basically, is your answer for that one. Uh, I'm in the U.S. The cheaper option would be great. Uh, yeah, do that. Get the um, the Mob Six frame. It's very good so far. I've heard a lot of good things about it. People have been bashing them up pretty good. Yeah, I don't but you're a day know walker. that anybody's broke one yet. I, don't quote me on that, but I don't know that that's happened yet. Uh, yeah, been pretty tough. Uh, you work in Bozeman a lot? Okay, cool. My Fractal 65 is up. supposed to be here from Jesse today. Got diamond in order to punish myself. 
Good luck, man. I'm going to say a prayer for your diamond. Uh, okay, was that answering? Did I answer all the questions? I think I did. I think we're good. I think we did it. Dang it. I'm re-rolling that one. That one already played today. Give me some new stuff. How do we have so many of these fucking things? I got more slaps, too, that I'm, uh, I'm working on. I'm going to finish all my editing first before I add more slaps, but you'll get a second one here in a second. There it is. What do you got? Is that a backup camera hey, on a car? Hey, nice. A nice BI. Perfect BI. You Beautiful. Put it in drive, dog. <laughs> Bro, Oops. What, what is going on? I saw you had your pizza today already. Hopefully you get a little pizza slap later, eh? A little pep. My son bought a uh, a lunchable for today because he usually has a lunchable every Friday at school. So he got a uh, he got a, pe a pepperoni pizza lunchable. So he'll be joining you on the on the pizza tip today. Oh no. Damn it. I always forget that Lunchable railing's right win. there. This little guy right here. I'm trying to get the pizza slap for months now, lol. For real? Shit, dude. I could just I could just play it for you if you'd like. Oh, I got some new DC lines I gotta add in too. Hang on. One of them might actually end up being a slap. I don't remember what he said though. You know what? No, the other one's not gonna be it. They're both just gonna be clips. I gotta stop making DC slaps. We have way too many. Getting tired of seeing him, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, oh, it was the beginning of his video yesterday. And I know, I can't wait to see the comments on this video because you know what the haters hate the most? Some of the alpha. A transmitter they called the alpha. To see the comments on this video because you know what the haters hate the most? Something they don't have. And what's the one thing that everybody's an expert on on the internet? Things they don't have. So let's go ahead and jump to the bench now. Not, not ass mad at all. Sounds robust and honest. Uh, this one is in stock. It's $129. And the the Alpha 10 is $159. So I like this line right here. It's a good get one. Into this. Do they have a seal on this thing? This is a tight box right here. This is here. a tight so, box right here. <laughs> uh, and the the Alpha 10 is $159. Yeah, so I like that one. If I can get into this. Do they have a seal on this thing? This is a tight box right here. So. Uh, yeah, there I'm it trying is. to figure so. out the song that you're playing where I've heard that melody before. This is a tight box. This one right here? This song? LOL things you don't have and I get for free 99. Uh, if you wanted to at least know Didn't who it's he by. just invalidate his own opinions? Yes. It's, uh, it's by Ruzer. R U Z E R. Or Ruzer. Ruzer, however you want to say that. Mm -hmm. And the song is called Speed Run. If that's the one you were referring to. It's a jam. I like Roser. They put out a lot of good stuff, if that's how you say their name. They put out a lot of good, like, drum and bass stuff, though. I use a lot of their music in uh, in our videos. Heaps. Pretty sure I already have one of their songs in the uh, the timeline. Word thanks, bro. For the, uh, the We Bleed uh, Northeast Championships video, too. They have a bunch of great D and B. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh. A little stick of butter right there. If it isn't June Loco. Uh, Jake, if you're just getting here, you should rewind back some. If you missed the beginning of the stream, I showed a little bit of the uh, the new I'm video excellent. that I'm, I'm working on to about the Weebly trip. Music in Logic Pro um, for my streams. You and Mo already have a little a little cameo in the in the intro, so the intro mashup of a bunch of different clips. Uh, I, I included some of like the third person video of us when we were out trying to fly in the wind in that gazebo. Saw my nerd face, lol. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad you saw it. Oh, God. That was the other thing I was hoping when I was going through all the B roll. I'm like, I think I got like at least 
every person that was there should be able to spot themselves at some point in the video. Maybe you weren't like a focus because it was hard to focus on 57 pilots. I got maybe like 16 interviews <laughs> total. Uh, and I felt like I was doing way too much of it. I felt like I was bugging people when they were trying to get ready to race, you know? Um, I talked about this a little bit uh, Tuesday night, but... Yeah, I got about 15 or 16 good interviews and stories to follow. Um, but yeah, I feel like I, there's a lot of B-roll where there's just... You should be able to spot yourself, you know? I think. I wish I would have been able to interview everybody. I said this before and I'll say it again. If somebody paid me to go to that thing and like film it and do all the interviews and everything, I would have had a fucking blast. That would have been great. Doing it uh, just for my own entertainment was fun. But if I was actually there with like a purpose and I had a plan and everything, you know, and everybody knew why I was there to like just film and do my thing, that would be so sick. I'd be all over it. I love triggering actual airplane pilots by referring to us as pilots too. What would you call us otherwise? What would you call it? You know, would, it, would you call it an RC pilot? It's still, you're still using the word though. We're just specifying that it's RC. Toy players. Toy players. <laughs> Airbenders. Oh, like After getting your interview. interviews up, you ah. should talk with Jesse about doing it for future events, too. Maybe. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I interviewed Jesse, too. There'll be an interview with Jesse. There's a long, longer interview with Jesse and with Zotek than there was with um, any of the other, like, racers there that day. I just kind of wanted to pick their brain because they go to a lot of this shit. Well, Zotek was putting the whole thing on, so... Um, you get to learn a little bit about what it takes um, and what it costs to put on an event like that, which is pretty cool because I feel like that's something usually you don't get to hear about. Um, so that'll be included in the video. There's also uh, the Operators. interview with or, or, uh, with um, Jesse, where he kind of talks about just traveling around a lot and balancing all of what he's doing uh, with, with the rest of his life and uh, what he was just doing because he was at another race right before that one. Where did I hit? I must hit on Do the airline right there. pilots even pilot or just there in case the auto system malfunctions? Oh, how dare you? <laughs> no, I was playing. Ground gremlins. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Words are words, are words and uh, I'm from the old school of uh, sticks and stones, you know? So, like, I don't give a shit. People could call us toy players These days, or pilots it's pretty much or the 8 -bit. Uh, motherfuckers. I don't care. They can call us whatever they want. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to keep doing my thing and having fun. Uh, the title literally means nothing to me. Just don't fuck with my hobby. That's all. You can call it whatever you want. Just fucking leave us alone when we're trying to do it. Don't go fucking with it. That's my only... Uh, oop, that's my only ask. Terminology could give a fuck. Literally changes nothing. Me too. I think it is funny to trigger airplane boomers, though. Yeah, 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 for that sure. Right, f I've, them heads. I've seen them get real upset on like Facebook How is groups Hoopster and shit. on the top board? LOL. Um, I don't know, man. He made out like a bandit. He just stacked up cash and then left. Uh, Oopster. He just got a whole bunch of humble bucks and then dipped out. Woo. Yeah, call us baby toy flyers if it means you're not going to touch the hobby. Haha. -ha. Yeah, right. I'm Fuck fine with those that. fucking fuckers. Phew. It's kind of fun doing that on a low camera angle because you can just kind of like wall ride past each tree, sort of like sneak past it, you know? Except that one because it's out of order. But still, you're out of order. This whole cold LOL on shorty, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care about all that stuff. Terminology shit, it's fine. Whatever. Calling it baby toy flyers would make any legislation around the hobby sound more ridiculous. That's true. That is true, yeah. Yeah, baby toy flyers from now on. Uh, we're BTFs out this bitch. Uh, BTFs rise up. <laughs> is that the next, is that the next uh, group name? The baby toy flyers? <laughs> Oh, 
What's that little fella doing? What are you doing up here, buddy? E Doc has a good point, dude. I know. This lady at my job keeps saying, Oh, you brought her toy again, lol. Yeah, good. BTFFPV. Yeah, keep keep saying that. Keep, keep Just telling ordered yes, two of the Fractal 65 Pro Frame Kit. Thanks, man. Of course. There is boomers freaking out about the word pilot on FPV life all the time, but I do agree with hating the MF Mavic flyers that call themselves epic drone pilots or whatever. Yeah, that shit's weird. <laughs> that shit's just weird. Um, again, it's all words, and I don't really care. I'm not going to get bent out of shape about it, but I do see the point of like... I do So piloting an aircraft doesn't mean you're in it. You can still pilot like a military drone from the ground, right? Those are drone pilots. So I would still consider what we do piloting, just it's RC piloting and it's a toy and you know, it's from the ground. I get it. I see the difference. But like with a with a DJI thing, when you're just kind of like pushing buttons, at least bro, bad on those life kinds. Saved my ass with those STL the, those, I think files. that's, that's funny. You, I think it's funny when they're like, yeah, I was just out freestyling my fucking DJI uh, photography drone. You can freestyle anything you want, so yeah, do it up. I don't give a fuck, but uh, yeah, I do think it's funny. Because then when they start flying like a uh, normal, like a normal mini quad. DC is a bone pilot. What the fuck? No prob, Mike. How do you keep this thing in the air? Where are the satellites? The amount of knowledge and wisdom need to fly these baby toys is next level if you were to break it down each sets of skills and knowledge needed how many college degrees you could have earned. <laughs> Heads your advice on trippy spins in reference to using the pitch axis helped me lock in my trippy even more it became a lot easier to trippy spin inside things. Excellent dude. Awesome. I'm glad it did. Those seem to be the two like big points that help a lot of people is the the pitch thing and um and uh the wonky nips. The stick position of where your stick should be and uh the actual um using pitch to climb that was something i was talking to bot about in new york is i was asking him engineer degree to work on where diamonds. his issues were in trippy spins and he said it was he couldn't i guess he couldn't get into them and he said it was he thinks it's his low camera angle and i was i don't think so because the low the camera angle shouldn't bother you I'd, I'd do them at like zero degrees for fun in the sim um so i recommended uh not worrying about throttle and start worrying more about your pitch because your throttle, you can basically get down to like next to no throttle, or you could like full stab your throttle and, and still stay in a trippy spin. But you won't climb, you know? It's all up to your pitch if you're gonna climb or not. If you're speeding up, I mean, I, I guess you could, depending on the cam angle, I guess you could climb with your throttle, but you could always just change the, the position of your pitch and you wouldn't climb anymore. You would just sit still again. Uh, so, yeah. I'm glad it helped, dude. It's cool to, uh, I heard um, somebody, I forgot. It may have been Bot saying that trippy spins are becoming more of like just a, uh, like a staple move, especially in, in micros, which I think is fucking awesome. It should be, it should be a staple Most move. Most definitely, cool. as soon as you mentioned the relativity to pitch and how it can lock in your elevation or help you ride Razor Lauer made total sense. Do Big Bertha plane pilots require that much stuff to learn? I don't know. Serious question. I don't know either. Oh, yeah. Who cares about trippy S anyway? They are such awful camera movements. <laughs> Did you, if you guys didn't have a chance, go Heads, check out... Did you uh, just say you fly zero degree camera angle? No, right now I'm flying 15. What I was saying is I, I do trippy spins at zero degree in the sim for fun. So I'll, I'll go down to zero degrees and I'll show you. Because people will say like, oh, I fly a low camera angle, so that's why it's hard for me to do trippy spins. And I just try to say like, it's not the camera angle. That's not the point. Um, the camera angle doesn't matter for shit. Uh, this is, there's no camera angle right now. I'm just flat. Uh, it's just all controlling in your pitch. That's all. Uh, so you bring your pitch up, you're going to climb, yet. you bring your pitch down, you're going to drop. Like it's, it's really, uh, it's really, that's really it. That's all there is to it. When the so-called real pilots, when the Zero aircraft degrees. breaks down, who fixes Zero it? I bet so most wild. do not do that themselves. Going flying backwards in zero degrees is so easy. Play. Big fan. Ba, 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 ba. 
Oh yeah, okay. So if you didn't see it yet, make sure to go over to Spotify, Apple, have or you wherever you listen to podcasts. Spectrum, whatever one like you have. Sixty-five angle trippy spin. Yes, yeah. It just gets easier the higher up your camera angle goes. I'll explain in a second. Play um, the West Side Connection song. Bow down when heads is trippy spinning the trippy <laughs> spin master. Uh, the um. Eight bit. They all have DJ. I care. Ha, the episode ha, ha, ha. I did with. Quadverse, K-W-A-D-verse on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. Go check them out. The most recent episode just came out uh, two days ago. That was with me. Um, really good conversation I had with that dude, uh, Whoop Squad Jax. He's an awesome guy uh, from Florida. So if you any of Florida boys out there, if you want to check him out. the aircraft of the real um, pilot's computer firmware But at the very end of the episode, them, maybe within like it themselves, do they? the last 20 minutes, uh, he makes the greatest little joke about trippy spins and it i completely missed it at first uh because i just i didn't expect it at all we didn't talk about anything like that at all and then just right at the end of the episode he kind of dropped that on me and it cracked me up that was very funny so anyways if you haven't checked that out i highly recommend it uh when the aircraft uh, or wait when the aircraft of the Some real pilot and computer firmware has issues, like to sit who fixes super it? Flat and I honestly find I imagine trippy mechanics, right? More easy to lock at lower cam I've angles, lower speed so to lock in, I feel pitch. like. Yes, cha-cha. Give it a whirl, dude. You especially, I think once you get into it, you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about more. You seem to have a pretty good idea of how the, the quad moves and everything. Um, like, you know, when Everyone you're in the air. Everyone got 60-year-old so, planes uh, anyways, yeah. and Give T, no firmware to deal with. Um, some of my fractals cams like to sit super flat, and I honestly find trippy spins more easy to lock in at a lower camera angle. Really lower speed to lock in. I feel like, yeah, you could do it at a lower speed. You could also do it at a higher speed. It all depends. Wish we got Neon to do a trippy at the event. Seen him pull off some really gnarly low trippies. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been cool. He was he was like overhyped though by that point, man. Overstimulated. That was a lot going on. Right, somebody said sixty-five. We'll try 65. See, trippy spin. All right. So a real pilot this. is basically a radio control. At times, it seems they don't fix anything I'm use, on them um, or program them or even build them exec smaller I'll hobby I'll use this pilots. so you can kind of tell the nose. All right. So this, let's say this is the nose of our quad, and we're flying with our with our – we fly like this, kind of on a forward angle. We're leaning forward a little bit. When we're doing a trippy spin, our nose is up like this, and we're kind of looking – up and behind us, but we're not we're not like this facing it, but we're kind of looking away from the object. So our our object's here, and we're gonna trippy spin around it this way. Our camera angle, remember this is our nose. We're right side up, but we're looking out away from it, so it's a tail in orbit. On my orbit, whoops, I like a 10 it. to 15 degree. Um, it seems game changing indoors, but my five so inch I need like 25 change... degrees. Neither seem to affect my trippies. I fuck em up pretty bad either <laughs> way. Ha ha ha. If we change our camera angle to make it more aggressive. When we flip to get into a trippy spin, we can we, we don't need to tilt as far back because our camera angle, imagine our camera angle is like, we're, we're flying like this, you know, like a really aggressive camera angle. So this is looking straight forward on this line. This is our camera looking that way. So when we go in for a tail in orbit, we only need to look like that basically. With a 15 degrees, you're a little higher up. Uh, with a zero, you're way high up, but you're still not, you're not looking backwards at it. You're, you're still flying away from it with your ass looking at it, basically. Like, you're showing it uh, your butt. It's a, it's a, a, what do they call it? A, uh, a mating dance. It's a whoop mating dance with an object. Uh, look, at, <laughs> look at my fucking screen. Oh, they all just flew away now. I saw three people just doing trippy spins on the poles in front of me. <laughs> uh, all right, here's Chasing 65. Chasing the tail. Holy God. All right, so 65. Wow, dude. I don't need any throttle. All right, hang on, let me adjust to this. This is insane. Every, left is right and right is left. Yeah, you don't really need to do anything. Oh, my God. I could just walk through this. You don't even need to go fast. Yeah, you can just do it nice and slow. There you go. Oh. <laughs> it's way harder at 65, for me at least. I, I need to get used to that. That's crazy. 65 is nuts, dude. Jesus. It's so fast. Oh, let's try 55. Maybe. Yeah, do that mating <laughs> dance nice and slow. Yeah, do it nice and slow like. Yeah, I just keep floating up, man. 
It would take me uh, a little bit of getting used to with uh, a way higher camera angle. I have a need for speed. Grab the wonky nips and chase that tail. 65 degrees is most fun to fly at yeah, full I'm, throttle. I'm used to seeing way less of the object I'm spinning around in my camera angle. I'm used to just seeing the tippy top of it. So I, I think that's what screws me up is I'm trying to visually match up where it should be, where I know it should be, like with my camera angle. And like I never see it that like uh, flat on mine. I always see it kind of more like that, where you just see the tippy top, but with 65 or whatever. I was, yeah, it was like you see the whole fucking thing. Either way, it's very neat. Tribute spins are cool. They're fun. Um, they're not for everybody, but it's basically like two people that don't like them. So give them a whirl. You probably you probably dig it. Two that I know of, at least two that I know of. That's all I got. So yeah, give them a whirl. They're awesome. They're a little challenging to do, so maybe that's why some people don't like them. But um, once you get them, uh, once you get locked in, especially, I've brought that up before, once you get locked in, it's really cool. Uh, it's, it's a very gratifying, uh, or I guess satisfying would be the term, uh, trick. Once you get locked in, it's just kind of, I don't know, it just like feels, feels right. You know what hey. I mean? It just feels right. Oh, fuck that all up. 65 degrees is most fun if, to fly full throttle. Yeah, it felt was like taking it. turtle mode FPV in my last stream. Sometimes I wish we had an in-flight variable angle FPV camera. I can't do them, therefore the trick sucks. Precisely. <laughs> like Barani's indoors. No trippy spin trash. for you. Prop junkie meddling that's, drones. That's made a trash move. <laughs> That's garbage. Not only is it impossible, it's trash. Oops, even if it was possible, the people who do it, garbage. <laughs> kidding, of course. Kidding, of course. Please. Ah. He's doing 50. Mode Silly FPV butters. races Street League. I had to ask him if those quads are really Oops. that heavy and don't gain altitude in real life. He said, yeah, no altitude. Flying bots e looks like he's got a pretty, he catch on? pretty fast angle as well. Yeah, there they go. Oh, look, they're doing it in tandem. That's sick. Everybody get in there. <laughs> Everybody get in there. I'll try to go low so I can see everyone. Oh, God. Scraping the ground. Yeah. Do it up. All right, I got to stop switching my camera angle and messing with my brain too much. It was neat, but it messes me up to have camera angles change while flying. He had it set up so you can do it on a switch or head Ooh. tracking. That sounds really weird. Um, I feel like I remember hearing about that, but I don't think I ever it's saw it. It's hilarious to see all of you trippy spinning that pole. I pissed. I am stuck at work. I want to fly. Oh, well, um, tomorrow night. We're going to do this again. We'll have another open lobby for a little bit. Also tomorrow night, make sure to send over any videos you want to watch. Um, any stuff Some that you've been working on. Not going on. We got a lot of it already. A lot of people submitted videos. You can use the uh, the clips yeah, channel Medlin in our Discord. Yeah, Medlin brought Cam Hoop to uh, IO and let a bunch of us try it. No membership needed. Or, no, none of that needed. You could just free. Just go over there, drop your videos, and uh, let's keep them FPV related. CYA heads and chat heading off the get some burritos. See you on stream TM. All right, Jake, take it easy, dude. I was Enjoy building your one, the tiny hoop cam angle switcher thingy um, is sick. I'm not going to be here too much longer either. Like I said earlier in the stream, my son is home from school today, hence the late start. Uh, I don't want to leave him just sitting up there too long by himself. He's just um, hanging out watching TV, so he's not really doing much productive of, of anything uh so yeah i'll uh <clears throat> i'll cut her a little short today but matt tv we'll be back tomorrow night again what time tomorrow heads so i can adjust my community Nine, spotlight stream time 9 30 p.m e eastern well how every, was it did you get to try uh every saturday Hanjin and farden i'll probably start watching viewer videos around 10 30 p.m eastern uh, i usually fly for about an hour at the top of stream and then uh, give everybody a chance to turn their shit in finish any editing they got to do or whatever uh and then I'll watch them after that. So probably like, yeah, 1030 Eastern. Oh, double vibrations. That's never good. 
Oh, well, uh, yeah, that's good timing. Shit, yeah, okay. It's 1.30 already. Okay, well, fuck. Uh, sorry I started stream late, but I do need to get scooting. Um, thank you, everybody. I, I know it was a short one today. I can't adjust that much on the fly. It was really neat fun trying a trippy spin, pointing the camera straight up, then turning it really forward fast. and flying away. Um, yeah, my bad about that again. Uh... I did not realize my son was going to be home from school on uh, this Friday, today. Being gone over the weekend really kind of threw my week off. Just wasn't paying attention to the calendar. But um, Right on. I've got a bunch of yeah, submissions get out for of the here. community spotlight. Just and want to maximize my viewers during my stream. Yeah. yeah no, I no, would no, imagine up, it would be more friendly cool. on a 5-inch. Um, but yeah, See absolutely. You all later. Stop Have by tomorrow weekend. night. Make sure to get any of your DVR together, and we'll watch it tomorrow night on stream. Just submit it over there in the Discord channel. That link's down below. Free to the public. Uh, it's free to submit clips. Doesn't cost you anything. We're going to watch all of them. Either way. I hope you guys enjoy your Friday. Get out there and get yourself a little pepperoni Word pizza up, brother. Have day. a great day. We'll chat uh, with you Thank you, you for chilling. I appreciate it. I'm going to get back to work CYL on this video. Tomorrow. I'm hoping to have the um, Northeast Whoop Championship video done by Sunday. See no you promises. Three Fridays from now. Probably not. I'm gonna Just hope, kidding. I'm going to hope to have it done by Sunday. At the latest, I'm going to say like Monday afternoon. So I'm going to do my best. We're rolling on it, but we still got a lot to roll with. Uh, all right, everybody. I'm going to get out of here. Take care of yourselves. Much love. Adios. Later, guys stuck in the house because of snow. I'm shitting and farting in anticipation.